take funds health here, but it's top lane. Libet coming into the top lane, looking for this gank. There's the pulverized combo coming in. Mountain dropping low, the flash as well from Kuban. Looking to oh, go into the bot lane as well. Bar. Kuban is teleporting into the bot lane. The flash and the equilibrium strike will lock him down. Libet knocks away Mountain, trying to pick up more from this one. Celebe picks up one, looking for another here, but Zaz is now joining the... He is, he's just stood still. I have a feeling he's looking at alt mid, and yes, he is. Yeah, here he goes. Grand Sky for... Oh, oh the shockwave will disengage, but the charm lands and the ignite goes down. Obvious will just tap him for the final hit. This is a very easy pickup. Yeah, a textbook play coming in from Enfac. Volatile Spiling will come in for the vision, but Obvious is here for the counter gank. We'll get the stun down, but in turn, the cocoon comes across. Mountain lands the crescendo only onto Libic. as Zayu jukes it with the repel. Now follows up onto the Sona as well. The flash over the wall gets out of Pulverize. The 280 carries bump heads. And Cedrian kind of trapped in no man's land with the, all the damage coming across. And now the Shockwave are looking for something maybe here. He's got oh, flash Reason available. Gaming will respond. There's the Pulverize combo. We'll be flashing over the wall as well to get out of dodge. Picks up another kill. And their stats is this will be their first dragon of the game. Is there an engage here? Well, one to one dragons. Oh, the Pulverize comes in. And Sun Perfect gets destroyed. So does Mountain. Reason Gaming are running over the competition. The Shockwave doesn't hit anybody with every. About and Faculty's Wombo Combo composition with all the damage they can offer. Maybe putting that foot on hold for a second. The Zayu has been caught here. We'll be juking away from Zazas. And the Boomerang will only clip the Spidlings. Kuban is lying in wait though, but Zazas in his ultimate form. Lands the Gnar Ultimate onto two. Alistair is into the backside, but everyone is here as well from Faculty. Spear Shot takes down Kuban. Zayu as well trying to to limp away, but Sus Bjorflex will be getting the retribution kill onto the middle turret goes down to end faculty, but they are now on the hunt. Kuban looking for the stun, gets it onto Mountain and the shockwave as well eliminates him from the fight. Tedron gets caught by the cocoon, but Zadis is into the backside, but he doesn't have his mega form, he won't be able to ult them away. Repel now, Obvious is under attack. Another Equilibrium strike. He'll be going down to the full force of Reason Gaming. And Salivar wasn't even a fight. Now he's arrived. He gets the slow onto Zazard. He'll be following up with the damage. Another Mystic shot. Jumps away. Gets the shielding from the turret. He's still not too happy about all these invaders coming into his home. That was a very fast Dragon take. Goes over to Reason Gaming. But now in comes Pantheon. Looking to catch someone on the outside. True shot barrage over the wall. Salivar is just as long range artillery. Zazard's lands the ultimate onto two. But only gets the Stun onto one. Soz Purefect with the true damage portion gets the kill onto Levit coming in from a last rocket from Cedrian. Only a one and two after all this action. The tower still, uh, rather, the dragon still went to Reason Gaming, so they are leading in this. Sellers is trying to take point here, but now the teleport from Kuban, it may be a little slow to try and catch up. In fact, it's not. I'm wrong as in this one because Zazas will go down. They pick up one kill. Sos Bjorfer goes into Zonia's. He'll be going down when he comes back up again. A two foot. Here, very comfortable here in the top side. But Zazas. Oh, the combo. Is... On to Zazas from Olympic. But the flash forward and the shockwave. Uh Did. When Zazis is a major part, here comes a Pantheon ult. Oh, Pantheon ult coming in, and Zazis coming in to teleport from the back line. Take one goes down here. This is looking really good for N Faculty as Kuban is out of the fight. He teleported back to base. Celeva doesn't get tagged by the charm though. Sos Purevect is still chasing after. Here comes the blue trinket, all getting that, uh, that vision down onto Celebo. Also gets the slow as well from Mountain. The pulverized combo will lock up a couple members. And Lipic may be the sacrificial cow here. As Zayu now comes into the fight, Kuban's back from base, and he disengages to do in here. They've cleared out a couple of wards, but it, it's pretty obvious where they're going on this. Shockwave! Oh, 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 that was oh, huge! The shockwave! Take for knew what he was doing, crescendo onto four, but that doesn't matter. Mountain's gonna go through. Really isn't gonna affect that. That's gonna be a Baron going over to reasoning on two, or rather three and a half items, and a fair chunk of change in the bank as well. 2,000, but let's take a look at that we one again. We didn't even see this uh, coming as fast as it went in. The shockwave mid-animation, no chance of getting away. That is a perfect Perfect setup from that ward. Crescendo was nice. So tanky, so difficult to kill. And it's his quintessential champion that now they've pushed up. Oh, the flash, the pull rise from Libic knocks the carries into his team. Zazas goes down, so does Corky. This looks like the end of this game. Four and faculty, a three versus five. As Reason Gaming push into the base with those buffed up Baron minions. The top turret goes down. Indeed, so does the inhibitor. And they are being as methodical as they can about closing this out. They are taking the middle turret as well. Yeah, they're just going to make sure they get as much from this as possible. But the Shockwave wasn't even used in that engagement. That's a lot of damage still left in the tank here for Reason Gaming that should end faculty go for a last ditch uh, save attempt here. They are going to get met with a massive Shockwave.
And 16 kills to 5. Reason Gaming have looked a lot more comfortable, but they haven't looked a lot more aggressive in the early game, and I still think that's one thing they could do. Indeed, but all of the inhibitors have gone down. The first Nexus turret falls, and Reason Gaming may decide to back. Don't think the result is going to be any different, but Reason have just dragged this out. For, excuse the pun, no apparent reason. Yeah, oh, Zazas did just use his ultimate there, knocks no one away. Again, the Shockwave eliminates Zazas from the fight. A good crescendo, but it's not going to make the blindest bit of difference. And Selva chases down Soz Pjovic for the second kill. And as you mentioned, this will be the end of the game here, as all they need to do is finish off the Nexus. Here we go. Reason Gaming, maybe a little bit slow to close out the game, but we'll.